The second time I met Queen, I said, this stage is not big enough for two queens. I will share this stage with that queen any day. And I forgot to say earlier, thank you Dayton Poetry Slam for putting my book on the Goodreads portion of your website. We mentioned, we mentioned, we, she left. We mentioned, we mentioned the Facebook, we mentioned Instagram, but we don't mention the website. We have a website and it hasn't been mentioned yet and I'm only bringing this up link because I just had to put one up. Where's the shower curtains? <laughs> Uh, 60 fucking hours a week on top of my kids. Give me back your Anyhow, so, it's my first slam, and that's not an excuse. So, I did some research, imagine that, and it kept coming back and saying, you know, it's, it's the poet, it's the poetry, but it's all about the poetry. And another person told me, you know, you stand up there behind the mic and it's all about in an, uh, being anonymous and the anonymity of being up here on stage. And I'm like, we have an Instagram and we have a microphone. Tell me about the anonymity of being up here on stage. So I'm going to dedicate this first slam to being anonymous up on stage. And I, too, went back into the archives way back because this thing has been gelling and gelling and gelling. And it never dawned on me that this might be a slam poem. So... I'm going to roll this one out tonight, and it's called, I don't often read at open mic nights, but when I do, I like to open with this one. You don't know me. You think you do. You'd like to think you do, but you really don't, and you never will. You sit out there wondering who the fuck I am thinking, he's just some other lost soul poet writing about screaming butterflies. See? You don't know me. You call me a yuppie. You call me a weirdo. You call me a fag even when I act straighter than you. You call me a junkie, telling me I drink too much. You label me Generation X. You don't know me. I can bite my tongue until it's bled. Still, I'll never let you in. I've torn out my soul, my heart, all and only just for something to do. Your everyday threats are useless. You call me a slacker, well, get a fucking clue. You don't know me. Every day is an imitation, an impersonation, almost a desecration. You being all that you can be while I can never be myself. That same generation that turned on and dropped out is now telling me to shut up and quit complaining. Yeah, you don't know me. I only know myself and know that you don't know me. Thank you.